Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is another video in my series on specialty LEDs for model railroading. This video is going to talk about two different LEDs sold by Evans Designs. So we're going to hook them up, check them out, and see what they look like. So they mention in the literature online that you should use or you could use up to two to four kits to make this look more realistic. So I got the 1.8 millimeter ones right here and I got the kit that's supposed to be Pico. Only difference besides those measurements on the front is the part number DC1F and DCPF. But neither of those catalog numbers appear on the website. Also it says that the input voltage for both of these are 5 to 12. But on the on the website it says they'll use, they can use 3 volts, 5 to 12 volts, or even AC DC or DCC supply from 7 to 19 volts. So I'm not sure exactly why it says just 5 to 12 volts DC on the front. So let's give this a try and hook it up. So I have this hooked up now to uh, 12 volts and from my observation here it looks like there's um, two colors of LEDs. One looks orange, one looks red, and they're flashing at different rates. One of the orange ones, or the orange one doesn't look like it's flashing that much, it's just getting brighter and dimmer. They mentioned to uh, group the lights together tightly to get colors to blend into a uh, convincing com combination. Um, so let me try that and we'll see what happens. So I've taped the three LEDs together and it does look a little bit better. Um, it also mentions that you could make it even more realistic looking by putting the lights behind a wisp of cotton or the included cellophane. They include a uh, piece of cellophane here and let me put that in front of there. I don't know that that makes a huge difference. But let me try some cotton. So here it is with some cotton and I think the cotton makes a big difference in its uh, realism with those three. Uh, I'm going to try the... I'm going to turn off the lights here and then try the cellophane again. So I say in dim light um, this looks pretty realistic. Again, I don't know what the cellophane does actually that makes a big difference. I don't really see a, a big difference with that. Uh, I think the cotton, and all I did for cotton was I took some Q-tips apart. Okay, let me try the other, the other version here, the Pico version. So this is the Pico uh, version of the LEDs, and they are really small. They're very tiny. But the color looks pretty good. I think what I'll do now is I'm going to combine the 1.8 millimeter LEDs and the Pico LEDs, put them behind the cotton together, and see how they look. Okay, this is the uh, the 1.8 millimeter LEDs and the Pico LEDs together. So the six LEDs in there, and I'm under dim light. I'm going to shut off the light. And I would say that that looks uh, pretty realistic. Uh, especially in dim light. Let me try another a dim light here. And uh, I, I think that looks pretty realistic, but I, the thing that really brings it out is the cotton. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to simulate a burning building uh, with a uh, N-scale building here I have. Okay, this is the uh, the building with the six LEDs in it. And I have it I have this still at 12 volts. It almost looks like it's too bright. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the voltage. This looks like it's it's just too bright to be realistic. So I'm going to turn down the juice here. That's about five volts. That seems better. Um, that's four and a half, even though it says it says uh, five volts is the minimum. That's about two and a half. Um, that almost seems about right. So maybe you want to have a little bit lower voltage, or you want to mask the LEDs a little bit more. I get I get the the feeling that the the six of them in a in a bright uh, building is just a little too much. And what I'm going to try to do is I'll, I'll reduce it by three and see if the three alone is, is better. So here's uh, the three nano LEDs um, by themselves at about 12 volts. I, I think these to me to be these appear to me to be about as bright as the, the three 1.8 millimeters. I don't think there's a lot of difference in brightness. Uh, let me bring it down to seven. There's seven volts. I think that's better. It, it it just seems to me to be a little bit, the blinking seems a little bit too regular. Um, one of the LEDs is, is blinking on relatively regularly and I think that's what I'm what I'm seeing. But it's it's pretty close and uh, it seems more apparent in a building than without a building. Like this. It doesn't seem to be as apparent here, but I could be I could be mistaken. I think just with the cotton. I think this would make an excellent uh, campfire, certainly. This is a uh, much larger building. This is the Continental Baking Company building that I made, and. Uh, this seems more appropriate. Um, these LEDs seem so bright that this seems more appropriate for a larger building. Um, but it, I think it's a, que a question of uh, subjective taste. They all look pretty good. Um, let you be the judge, but uh, they're, they're pretty reasonable. But, by the way, both of these uh, kits uh, the mini one, the mini 1.8 millimeter one, and the um, uh, minor one, the, the little one, were the Pico ones were I think $15 together, so not a lot of money, and they seem to work pretty well. Seem to work pretty well. I think you have to do a little bit of massaging with the scenery, the cotton, the positioning. Um, uh, and 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 so forth, and I think then you could make it even more realistic looking. So that's about it for this video. I think uh, my reaction and summary is that this is a good product. I think you have to play around with the cotton, and they mention in the instructions to get a more more diverse light out of the LEDs. You can lightly sand the top of the LEDs to spread out the light more. But I think the cotton also has that effect. So by fiddling around with the the LEDs, the cotton, and the voltage, I think you can get a pretty realistic look at uh, what a fire should look like on a model layout and at a reasonable price. So if you like this uh, video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.